Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Flighty Fucking Flower Rangers. When we last left off, we had defeated the hell out of Stage 2, and now we are going to attack Stage 3 with all our force. We are going to use Kimberly the Pink Ranger for this one, and I will explain... summarily. The first reason is because of her special attack, and this is the last stage it's probably going to be actually useful in. And the other reason... I have long since forgotten. I swear there were two reasons, I don't know what they are. So we're just going to move right along. Now, the thing about this level, it's a sewer level. You know what's interesting about it, though? I mean, what's really interesting? I, I swear I'm going to tell you what's interesting about it eventually. Um, what's interesting about it is, this is a sewer level. I hate sewer levels. I hate the hell out of sewer levels. I can't stand sewer levels in any game. They're always horrible. They're always dingy. They're always messy. They're always chaotic. They're always this big maze of, of uh, crap going on. And they're just never really a fun experience. This is the only sewer level I can think of in any game that I actually like. I don't know why I like it. It doesn't really particularly stand out as, you know, godlike level design or anything. I just like it. I don't know. And it's not like I really like it or anything, it's just that I can stand it pretty well. And usually I can't. Usually the sewer level is the guaranteed fuck you level. Anyway. Personal preferences aside, this is, in fact, a sewer level, and we are going to be fighting a hell of a lot of putties here. Because putties are in every level. They are like the Cybermen of DBZ games. And naturally they would be. I mean, what else are you supposed to fight besides the boss? We got a chicken leg there. I don't think you were able to see that. Maybe you were. Now, notably, Kimberly has some pretty bitchin' martial arts move. Look at that. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. Billy is just sort of like drunken fist, and Kimberly is kicking people in the frickin' face and making them die. That's pretty awesome. I don't know who the hell built those screw drill bomb things. I would like to have a word with their mother. Clearly... Oh god. Oh god. Anyway, clearly she did not raise them right. Making these dangerous ass things. I mean, my god. And why are they in the sewer? I mean, that. Come on. That, that makes no sense at all. He's not dead. There we go. Now he is. Um, can you jump down? You can. I did not know that. Game came out uh, nearly 20 years ago. I did not know that. Okay. Good to know. Clearly, I am good at video games. Um, moving on. Yeah, I promise I'll find something else to say instead of that. But it won't be this day. Huh. Usually I can get off some actual decent uh, sort of mix-ups. But these guys don't give me enough time. They're closing in from all sides. And here we go. Kimberly is going to morph and it's going to be pretty cool. I don't think I showed off much of her air attacks. Well, they're gone forever now. Not a problem. See, their poses are different when they transform like that, but they are not... Um... But otherwise, they all become sort of samey. Except for the weapon. Uh, excuse me. Except for the weapon. Kimberly has a bow. It has some pretty damn decent range. I mean, look at that shit. But if you want to know about range, Kimberly is actually quite special because she is somebody who changes her moves... Usually every ra that um, that fourth hit in a combo there. Usually that's the move that every ranger will have. Oh god! This guy oh god! He does not go that fast in the U.S. version. I swear to God. Anyway, usually that'll be the move you get from up Y. But in Kimberly's case, this is the move you get from up Y. And this is also oh god! Get the hell away from me! Do not poke me in the ass! I swear. Thank you. Uh, no. Ow. Anyway. This is the reason why Kimberly is going to be only useful in this level, basically. In fact, I don't think she's going to be that useful altogether. Uh, anyway, because... This is a terribly weak attack. Putties can just sort of... Uh, close in on you anyway. And you can't move during that. You can't move during this... Uh, you kinda can. Gonna kick your ass before you hit the ground. But you can't attack when you're in water, and that sucks. Anyway, um, it's an incredibly weak attack. Putties can basically close in on you and, like, just go right through your arrows and eventually kill you. And later, 
stages will have even tougher putties to contend with than these guys and the other guys. So basically, this is only really useful for crowd control against gray putties. And I think this is like the last stage gray putties actually show up in in any appreciable numbers. Break. Thank you. Fuck you, gravity. Fuck you. And they're not actually showing up that much. At least not after the morphing segment, so... Maybe Kimberly's time has passed already. That's kind of sad, but whatever. Not a problem, it's not like I can't win. She actually isn't that bad despite that, because her bow is... It has pretty good range right there, if you can see. And it's not like it's weaker than any of the other weapons. Um... Why do these exist? Oh, sh shit. Pickle. Yeah, seriously, why... This is a sewer. Why are those even things? Perhaps they're part of the putty plot to inject mind control gas into the sewer so people will be like, holy crap, crack a window in there and what will really happen is their mind is being controlled. You can't jump out of water. You can't possibly know how much that sucks unless you're actually playing this game. Maybe you can, right there, that kind of sucks. Now I've just noticed this. Those legs are not individually drawn, they are just rotated, I'm pretty sure. I can very clearly see... There's nothing even up here! Ah! But yeah, I can very clearly see where they... Um... Ow. Where they connect to the rest of the sprite on there. I'm not complaining, because they did a pretty good job on actually def ow! on actually defining the sprite, um, so it's fine. Yeah, look at this, you can't, you can't do shit. Cannot do shit right here. There we go. Hello, you are a gray putty. You're gonna die. Nah! How does it feel to get blasted by the weakest frickin' thing in the game? You can't even take a hit from that. I think the gray putties might might be able to take, um, like, one or two hits or whatever from Billy's thing. Or I should specifically say the Blue Rangers thing. The, um, the spinny attack. What the hell is this weapon? I don't know what it's called. Um, I, re I really don't. I'm wrecking my brain to try and figure it out. It's not a Psy. It looks like a Psy, but it's on a, um, it looks like a Psy on a stick. I have no idea what that could be. Oh yeah! That was totally worthless, but we got it! There's something up there! How the hell? I... don't have a clue, I and mean, I don't want to be here for like five hours, so we're just gonna... pass it by. Anyway! But yeah, this is... the fact that you can't jump out of the water or climb out of the water or do... Oh my god, this is probably not even good. It better be health. But yeah, the fact that you can't jump out of the water or climb out of the water, it kind of bugs me. And yet, I still say this is the only sewer level in video gaming that I actually like. That is health. Good. Hmm, let me see if I can do this. No, why? No! No! For the love of God, get up there before the water recedes. Yes! Come again, has it? I don't know. Anyway, I think this is the boss. It is! Kimberly's weapon is not very good against the boss. But who cares? It's just an eyeball guy. I don't know his name either. I'm going to call him Eyeball Guy. I should really look up on the Wickham of... Ow! I, I really don't know how to dodge that. Anyway, I should really look up on the Wikipedia how to, uh, like, what these guys' names are, but... Do you, do you care? Ow! I saw that coming, and I did nothing to stop it. But yeah, do you really care? I mean, seriously. If I just called this guy Eyeball Guy, would you really be all that put out by it? Because I wouldn't. So yeah, this is basically all he does. Um, until he blows up. And then... He becomes... Wart. I think that's his name, the boss from the Zelda dungeon. Uh, he got a 3D makeover in Majora's Mask, but I'm specifically talking about the one in the Water Temple from Link to the Past. Don't ask me to let's play A Link to the Past, by the way. I'm just putting that out there. You can ask me to let's play whatever the hell you want. 
Don't ask me for that, because so many freaking people have done it, and it's so damn long to Let's Play. But, you know. Anyway, that got... And besides, we just beat the boss from the game, so... Password for people who are blind, 3904. Moving right along. Well, not right now. We're going to save moving right along for another video. Um, these two are left. The yellow ranger, who is Asian, and the black ranger, who is a black guy. You try to throw in diversity, and yeah, that's that's what happens. Anyway, this has been Progy Crash with Stage 3 of Let's Play Flighty Fucking Flower Rangers. I will see you next video. Goodbye.